Israelis are watching a rising number of their soldiers killed fighting in Gaza and growing international condemnation over the Palestinian death toll. But their leaders remain resolute in their commitment to destroy the Hamas Islamist group and retrieve an estimated 100 Israeli hostages. Footage released by the Israeli government showed Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu telling soldiers he was committed to annihilating Hamas. Saying, quote, I say this in the face of great pain, but also in the face of international pressures. Nothing will stop us. We will go to the end, to the victory, no less than that. And it's a message that seems to resonate with many Israelis. Israel is paying an incredibly high price with all these young, precious soldiers being killed. Saadia Gopstein is an attorney in Jerusalem. What choice do we have? This is a fight for our survival. Many Israelis acknowledge the devastating toll of the campaign on Palestinian civilians living in Gaza. I think the civilian death toll, it's, it's horrendous. It's awful. It's terrible. But again, we didn't start this. However, they remain committed to victory. It's awful. It's awful that there's so many civilian casualties. And if we could, we're doing our very best to try and avoid them. But this is war, and that's what happens in war. Israel's invasion of Gaza has killed more than 18,000 Palestinians. It came in retaliation after Hamas fighters assaulted Israeli communities on October 7th, killing 1,200 and taking hundreds more captive. This week's United Nations resolution calling for an immediate ceasefire has been rejected by Israel. That sentiment seems to span both the right and the left of the political spectrum among Israeli Jews. Tamar Herman is a political science professor at the Israel Democracy Institute. Indeed, uh, the sense of uh, self-righteousness in a way that uh, we are entitled to do everything in order to serve our security makes uh, Israelis, even on the left, less sensitive to what is happening to the uh, citizens uh, in Gaza. Along with capturing or killing the Hamas commanders who planned the October 7th rampage, a goal of Israel's war is to bring back hostages grabbed by the militants and taken to Gaza. Right now, we didn't achieve uh, neither the first nor, nor the second. And, and therefore, people are, are, most of the people are ready to, to continue until the point where at least one of the major uh, aims is, uh, is achieved.